What's going on guys, Rob from ClicksGeek. In today's video, I'm gonna go through a few keyword tips that you can definitely use to find the more higher intent golden type keywords. All right, so there's two types of keywords. It really breaks down to two types of keywords when you're running your Google Ads campaigns. There's broad intent type keywords and there's high intent type keywords. Now the key to having Google Ads campaigns that have those conversion rates of 20, 30, 40% is high intent keywords all right this is somebody with an urgent need that's clearly salt searching for for a problem they have a problem they're searching for a solution and we are offering the solution directly to them all right broader type keywords are more so a broader type keyword here's an example let's do roof the roofing industry so a broader type keyword is let's say you're a roofer in philadelphia a broad type keyword is philadelphia roofer okay or roofing in philadelphia all right so a high intent type keyword is leak repair roofer for leak repair or leak repair roof leak repair philadelphia all right those are higher intent keywords that those keywords they let us know that hey this guy's searching google for leak repair for his roof all right he's in our location he's searching for to repair his leak in his roof um, all I gotta do is tell this guy hey I can fix your roof and that's it it's just the perfect message match and everyone's happy and that's how you get those high conversion rates so that's really what it breaks down to but I'm kind of gonna run through the uh, run our demo campaign here for party bus so it, it, let's, let's use let's use the limousine party bus industry for today's video as the example and we're gonna go into the keyword planner so we'll go up here go into the keyword planner and we're going to type in, let's just do the theme of the entire campaign, which is to rent a limousine. Here we go. Get search results. So when you're building your ad groups, this is what we're going to do. We're going to type in our, when we're starting to find our keywords and our ad groups, we're going to go to the keyword planner. We're going to type in our theme of the entire campaign. So if this is a limo and party bus campaign, our theme is going to be rent limo. The next theme is going to be rent a party bus, and we'll find all of our ad groups and keywords under those two themes. So then if we come down, we're going to start looking at keywords, and you're going to see, based on what I just the example I just gave you, of how you can identify what is <coughs> excuse me, high intent and what is not. So rent a limousine, that's high intent. Rent a limo, high intent. Limo rental prices, high intent. Hummer limo rental. That's a great keyword, high intent for a Hummer Limo ad group. Going to a Hummer Limo landing page. Rent a limo near me, very high intent. Limo rental cost, high intent. Hire a limo, high intent. Stretch limo rental, high intent. Near me, high intent. Prom, high intent. Let's try and find abroad. Yeah, these are all really good. Okay, Rolls Royce limo rental, that is high intent, but you know, you have to have a Rolls Royce in your uh, stable of limousines, otherwise that's going to be a disaster. Let's keep going, keep going. Where's the broad stuff? Come on. Limo van rental. So if you have a limo van that works, it's high intent. These are all really good. All right. Probably, ooh, limo prices per hour. That's a great high intent keyword. Let's go down. Go to the next page. Really high intent. Rent limo for one hour. Yeah, these are all great. Well, this just made uh, building these ad groups a lot easier. Let's just keep scrolling. We're going to see what we got here. Limo hire deals. Broad. That's not something I would go after. Broad type. For rent, for rent, prices, costs, prices. Rent a limo, cost per hour, it's a good one. 
yeah, these are all pretty good. So let's go to something different. Let's try Party Bus. Let's see what that gives us. And I'm just trying to find some examples for you guys of uh, broad type. <clears throat> I think I think you probably by now I think you have a good handle on how to what how to identify a high intent keyword based on everything I've just been saying. Oh, here we go. Party buses. All right, this is broad type. Not to say that you shouldn't bid on it, but this is not high intent. This is broad type. We don't really know what the intent is for someone searching this. So this might be something to put into its own ad group as a skag and then bid super low on it and just see if what kind of traffic it brings. So I'm definitely not saying don't go after it, but I'm saying that these these type these broad type intent keywords, we want to segregate them from the rest of the campaign. We don't want to mix these into our ad groups and our keywords inside of our ad groups. Prices near me. Prices party van broad type. Small party bus, broad type. Cost, high intent, near me, high intent. Birthday party bus, broad type. Party bus rates, high intent. Party bus service, high intent. <clears throat> party vans, broad type. All right, so you guys get, you see, you see what I'm doing here. I'm not going to go through and torture you guys for 10 minutes about this, <laughs> but um, this is probably the best keyword tip that I can possibly give you. This will change the total trajectory of your campaigns. It's all about building your ad groups with high intent keywords. And if you do choose to use the broad type keywords, because they have a lot of volume usually, you want to segregate those into SCAGs, which are single keyword ad groups, and just bid low on them and see what the traffic brings. If, it's, if it converts well for you, great. If not, you just turn it off. So that's the best advice I can give you is to look for the intent. Now this could be, this is an example with the limo and party bus. This goes for any industry, does not matter. You always got to find the high intent stuff and build your entire campaigns around those high intent keywords. That's all you have to do. And you guys will get those 20, 30, 40% conversion rates in Google ads. All right, so the most important takeaway from this video, high intent keywords versus broad type keywords. Know the difference, how to spot them, how to find them. And with your high intent keywords, make sure that you're, so if someone's looking for a, so limousine party bus, that is, that is broad type party bus companies. Okay. So that's some, that's high intent. So we're looking for a party bus company, make sure they're going to an ad that talks about how your client or you are the premier party bus company in your local area. Then that goes to a landing page where it talks about how you're the premier party bus company in your local area. All right. Message match all the way through the funnel. That is the number one thing that makes the, our AdWords campaigns crush our competition as we have this dialed in. And it all goes back to high intent keywords. All right, so hopefully this helps. If you guys have any questions, drop them in the comment section below this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. There should be a little red button down the bottom right of the video you're, you're watching right now. Just click that and you can automatically subscribe. And check out the description below this video. I'm gonna put some, some useful links in there to other how-to Google Ads videos.